Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and we're gonna talk about the state of open source and its use in the enterprise marketplace. If you wanna learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire us for a project, there's a hire us button up at the top. If you wanna support the channel in other ways, there's some affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services that we offer. So, the state of enterprise is a, well, a report commissioned by Red Hat. That's actually the title. The State of Enterprise Open Source Software. And I'm not going to go through. I'll leave a link to this so you can read through the whole report. And while all this is some feel-good stuff and uh, a report that was commissioned by Red Hat by a third party to conduct with an interview with 950 IT leaders, it's uh, obviously going to be a little biased because, well, I'm open source advocate, so I'm talking about, and so is Red Hat. They're obviously, you know, built on open source. But the argument that doesn't hold water that I hear is that open source really isn't used in the enterprise. It's not ready for prime time. And that kind of thing is, um, well, it's annoying and wrong. And I see the, you know, people holding tight, and especially the marketing and FUD that went on. Uh, Microsoft is, well, I think mostly dropped the uh, anti-open source marketing. They seem to like Linux now that they figure out a way to make money with it. But that aside, there's always been a lot of fear in the industry over it. And I still get pushback that when I talk about these open source projects and, and things like that, that they're not really in use in big companies. So, okay, here's a couple things. One, I can't say names of clients we've worked with, and some of them are very large that we've deployed things set up and consulted for because that's part of the agreement with them, which the uh, weirdness of them finding us on YouTube, hiring us for special projects, and then saying we can't talk about those projects. I'm perfectly fine with from a business standpoint. I would never violate their trust, but obviously they have concerns of talking about their uh, infrastructure. Now, I will say that the interesting way you can find out what companies are using though is to go ahead and take a look at the use of enterprise. And I don't want to just be some person telling you and being vague because I hate that. That's something that really annoys me about uh, many people in the industry. They're always vague about we do these things but we can't talk about what we do. I like to talk about it, but obviously I don't want to violate any client trust, which is perfectly fine. I don't have a problem with that at all. And actually, there's a workaround to figure out how companies are using things and to prove my point to actually give you some numbers, not some survey from Red Hat. So let's actually talk about that. And it's actually just by doing job searches. If you do job searches for certain open source projects, and I'll bring up a couple of them like PFSense, you'll find a lot of companies hiring for this. Not just small companies, big companies. And someone go, well, these are support companies, blah, blah, blah. So you're not really digging into the bigger one. Okay. Have you heard of University of Michigan? They are looking for a cybersecurity software developer and specifically with some PFSense experience as outlined in the description here, right there. Knowledge of uh, PowerCLA and PFSense. They wouldn't be asking for someone who had PFSense experience just because they think it's a good thing to know, but because it's in use. You can probably assume that with companies. And I do have this company as an interesting one in the list. Why? Well, MetLife, this seems enterprise enough, seeing as they're part of the S&P 100 component. They're an S&P 500 component. They've been around for a minute, so I'm thinking they qualify as enterprise. Someone will argue um, only companies in the Fortune 10 are enterprise. There's always someone who, well, the Fortune 10 isn't using this product, but they have a IT security service analyst that they want security onion experience in here. Security Onion, Metasploit, Wireshark. Oh, look, lots of Bro and Zeke. Now, what this tells me about MetLife is they're using the stack right here to monitor their systems, they're using the entire open source stack for security monitoring. Um, they may have some other paid commercial products in there, but I will tell you that these are more deployed than you are aware when it comes to many of these open source ones out here. Um, it doesn't take long of going through these and finding all these different companies, big and small, that are using open source. It's been a tradition to be very quiet about what you're using inside of your stack, but it's also been a tradition of people that work in cybersecurity. Uh, if you want to figure out if you're even doing a pen test, simply doing a job search or finding out a couple of employees' names and looking at what they brag about on LinkedIn or projects they're involved in, you're like, oh, they must be using it because this person's talking about it, even though they're not talking about how they use it at their company, it becomes obvious that they use it at their company. So what I wanted to really nail home is yes, enterprise isn't just 
in the open source is actively being used. It's not the pipe dream it was. You would have probably been that correct person 20 years ago when I was saying, you should use open source in the corporate market. And yes, uh, the commercial companies had a stranglehold on it. As the old adage would go, no one got fired for buying IBM, which later turned into no one got fired for buying Cisco. And they always went with the big trusted names of commercial software, and the commercial calamity that sometimes comes with it. Open source isn't um, just a pipe dream anymore. 20 years later of me beating the drum is, wow, I'm seeing it absolutely deployed at the highest levels. Uh, we've consulted with many big companies and, and seen the deployments and their use of open source. As a matter of fact, many of these companies contribute back to the open source. They kind of get the ecosystem that uh, contributing back. And obviously the more noteworthy, very public facing ones are Facebook and Google. Um, you may not like some of their privacy problems, and you'd be correct to do so. They certainly have some challenges there, but their contributions back to the code base of open source have been substantial and are important. And of course, there's tons of smaller companies really uh, vested in this, and I'm among them myself. I definitely contribute back to the open source community and am very uh, passionate about it in many ways. So if you ever want to, you know, beat up on the people who just keep telling you and prove them wrong is really what it is. The uh, proof is these companies not only are hiring for engineers and seasoned staff for these positions, It's be, if you're wondering why, it's because they're using it. So uh, this is my little talk about this. I, I just want to send this as a reply to people that keep telling me open source isn't ready or is not even used in the commercial world. Tom, you're just a small business guy that doesn't know what he's talking about. And I've certainly heard that quite a bit. Um, and maybe I shouldn't give so much credence to people who tweet and comment on YouTube or send me random emails saying this on how I'm doing a disservice by talking about open source, but uh, it's not going anywhere. It is, um, despite those few naysayers that really hold on to commercial products, and many of those work for commercial product companies, uh, the world is changing. It's changing fast. And uh, you can Google it yourself and hit, hit some job searches and uh, take a look and you'll see it's pretty out there and a lot of big companies are using it. I've done this video before and uh, they didn't come up this time, but for a while there, MasterCard was looking for quite a few PFSense people. Wonder why? Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.